Isaac Hayes not being on the top 100 best albums of all time, this album actually sampled Isaac Hayes. This album actually sampled Isaac Hayes. This album actually sampled Isaac Hayes. This artist sampled Isaac Hayes. So did this artist. Definitely influenced by Isaac Hayes. Influenced by Isaac Hayes. This album actually samples Isaac Hayes. This album actually samples Isaac Hayes. This album actually samples Isaac Hayes. Pause Isaac it, Hayes. Bro. Pause it, bro. Guess what? This album actually <laughs> samples Isaac Hayes. <laughs> bro, I'm so glad you played that. I don't know the Isaac Hayes album. I don't think I heard it, but bro, to all my creators, bro. Oh man, I'm not trying to get on my motivational bag, bro. No, go do your thing. This is such an important, important um, like piece of content. You see how I, I'm assuming Isaac Hayes wasn't on top 100 albums. No, he, no, none of his projects. But he just named like 10 people that was uh impacted by Isaac Hayes, bro. Or use his music to make different music. Yes. What, bro? Excuse my language. I'm trying to stop cursing. Why am I not? Forget what these big uh corporations, companies, mm -hmm. forget all them, them numbers, them, them thresholds that they try to put on you, forget all that. Because one thing that a lot of people overlook is cultural impact. And I think somebody had to tell me, I don't know if it was you, Jay, somebody told me about cultural impact that made me open my eyes. And a lot of times these corporations and these companies overlook that. But you can't mm -hmm. overlook, you can't overlook cultural impact because why? Because the people feel it. Mm -hmm. Think about riding their interviews. And I'm always killing myself about the numbers and the numbers and the numbers. Bro, my, my DJ drama interview did Maybe I'm being generous. 10,000. Maybe not that. I'm sure it didn't do 10,000. It did like five, 6,000 views on YouTube. You know how many conversations came from that in, from that interview? 10,000. <laughs> 10,000. Meek Mill still <laughs> tweets about it to this day. Mm -hmm. Shave room. Uh, the Breakfast Club. Academics. Some of the biggest platforms in the world has spoken about that interview because we talked about one simple thing and who was the new, who was the Jay-Z of our generation. Man, fuck all these numbers. Fuck what these corporations telling you. Fuck what these companies saying and continue to do your thing because the culture is always going to speak on what you're doing. So all this, all these numbers and these fake ass accolades don't mean shit. Don't get caught up in it because bro, when you're doing something impactful, the world is going to speak back. And like when you, mm -hmm. when, I'm so glad you played that because I'm listening. I don't even, I, I ain't even listen to Isaac Hayes. I don't even know what he's talking about. But it, it, I felt it, bro. Because it's like, bro, you might be left out all the conversations that the big dogs are having that you might not be a part of or whatever. But bro, when you doing something impactful, oh, the universe is going to speak back. My bad, bro. We can play it back. I'm gonna... No, 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 no. Before you even get into that, I love the fact that you just said that. I, that is such an important element of purpose. You know, understanding why you do what you do and, you know, to continue moving. So let me give him an example. I'm going to give you all an example, kind of play off of what he's just saying. A lot of corporations would rather get somebody that can mimic what Jay Hill does versus getting Jay Hill because they know they would have to pay Jay Hill his quote. Mm -hmm. A lot of people will be like, yo, we want something like Jay Hill. Go to the little discount nigga for $150 and say, yo, I need you to do this for me. Like way Jay Hill did it. And then the person will do it. It won't be as good. It won't be as purposeful. It won't be as impactful. But a lot of companies will do that. It's very rare in this time period that people, and yo, and I can't remember. I was just listening to a podcast yesterday. No, I was watching a Ray Daniels interview. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash uh, 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 Jay Hill podcast and listen to that Ray Daniel interview. Phenomenal, bro. You did a phenomenal job. That was a beautiful conversation. I'm on my third time listening to it from beginning to end. It's I'm telling y'all, it's going, it's a life-changing moment. But he talked about how people, these corporations are all about money. These motherfuckers ain't really trying to impact culturally. Nope. They just want to see what the fastest turnaround on a buck is gonna mm -hmm. be. And and that's the difference with this time period versus the past. The past. In 50, 60 years ago, it wasn't, I mean, it was definitely always about making money, but it was always about let's impact the culture because by impacting the culture, we can make money. Bro, I'll go in even deeper than that. But before I go, because I, I want to be, I'm, I, I just try to be real as possible. I ain't even talking about that perspective. I'm talking about numbers though, because a lot of times they ask for astronomical, extra, astronomical numbers to be put on these mm -hmm. platforms. They want, and I'm being transparent as hell. They want 60,000 downloads to be on a, just to be looked at on a platform. If I had mm. 60,000 downloads, I'm not being on your platform. I'm smarter than that. Right. What are you talking right. They want millions of views to be on, on a platform. If I had mm. millions of views, I don't need you, you fucking dickhead. Whatever, mm. but anyway. Damn, I just lost, cause I, but I was gonna say uh, radio. We look at radio, right? 
at one point in time, boy, I don't, I feel like an old, uh, damn, bro. I, I feel like uh, one of them old, old bitter niggas. Radio. It was a point <laughs> in time when we all had dreams of being, uh, what's when you in multiple cities, multiple states, what is it called? Oh, oh, syndicated. Syndicated. Hit me out. We all had big dreams of being syndicated. Syndicated ain't shit, but being able to save some money. Think about it, bro. If you wasn't syndicated, they got to hire radio personalities for every single city, every single state. They got to pay them mm-hmm. personalities. And them personalities mm-hmm. ain't cheap when we talk about full time. So why, mm-hmm. so why would I pay 15, 20 different personalities when I can give it to this one guy, I pay him half the price and he be in 15, 20 different uh, cities and states. Come on, bro. Mm-hmm. This shit is a business and we got to understand this is new age slavery. So yeah, like that's, and this is why I probably, I never was good in corporate. I be wanting them corporate jobs. I swear, I promise yo. Like 92Q, maybe, maybe still, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, you, you, maybe not. Gotta, but it's hard gotta. for me to have, it's hard because I don't, I don't conform to the bullshit that they be doing. They, they'll they put you in a place like, yeah, you syndicated. You in 10 different cities. That shit don't mean nothing. It's just for you to pay mm-hmm. me half the price? Not even half. Mm-hmm. A quarter of the price? Bro, think about it. Your salary would be 100, let's say, not even 100. Because they want to give you money for being talented. They want to give you, oh, we got your talent fee too. So you're gonna be, but that ain't that ain't my salary. What my salary should be. Whatever. But anyway, they'll pay you $75,000. I know too much about this because I never was close to having a full-time position. I don't, this ain't never been my life, but I just know the game and I never was going to be no puppet just to get to that place. That's stupid. Dumb. I wanted to be that, but by the time I got in there, oh, so I got to wait 10 years just to get a chance to be a full-time employee, just to get a chance to be the big dog, just to get fucked when I'm the big dog. You can suck my mm-hmm. dick. I'm sorry, but anyway. So yeah, mm-hmm. yo, they will pay you, let's say $70,000. $100,000. Let's say $100,000 to be a full-time the guy at a radio station. Yo, bro, we need somebody in um in Charlotte. We need somebody in uh Detroit. We're going to put you on there. All right, bet how much you going to pay? Maybe $20,000 raise, maybe. But if you had if you hired a full-time guy, he would get at least 60, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I can't get 50. Nah, the budget ain't, man. Listen, man, this independent shit, bro, ownership, and I know y'all here, we talk about it all the time, but when you own what you have, bro, nobody can take nothing away from you but you. But you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ownership is the most important key to this, bro, and it might be harder. I'm talking to my creators, my Mm -hmm. entrepreneurs, it's going to be harder. It's the steps Mm -hmm. It's the steps route. But guess what? Mm -hmm. My legs feel a lot better at the top of them steps when I got that workout in. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, bro. Like, bro, I know it's hard. You out there, you start you starting your own podcast. You you want you want the looks, you want to be signed, but bro, being signed ain't nothing but a finesse. Because they mm-hmm. only think about what will you do when it comes to business? I'm not paying nobody more than I'm paying myself. And I mm-hmm. gotta make profit if I'm paying somebody to work for me. That's just the game. Mm-hmm. That's the way to business. That's the, that's the, and that's nothing wrong with that. So you mean to tell me mm-hmm. you're willing to go all in? For your business to sign it to somebody else for a look, because that's all we're doing. I'm gonna be real, because I'm, mm-hmm. I'm still, I'm still looking. It's, it's a look, but what is it worth? You gotta. This is the things you gotta ask yourself. What is it worth? Okay, I'm signing. Understand what you're doing. Understand how you can maneuver. And I think this is why I always got in trouble because no matter what gig I took, I always had a plan for J Hill. I worked at KYS in DC. Guess what? I wasn't a full-time employee, but I used my Radio 1 in it. I, I used my Radio 1 email to get interviews for Jay Hill. They called me out on it. I got in trouble for it. But that's what that's just the game. I was willing to take that price, that, that risk. When I'm when I worked at, I was love the culture radio on VBC radio. I was working at DTLR at the time. Guess what I was doing? We had interviews with TI. I'm getting love the culture radio drops. Because I understood mm-hmm. that was me. That was mine. Nobody could take mm-hmm. that away from me. I got in trouble for it. I mean, I got called out for it. All I'm saying is, bro, understand where you at, understand where you want to go, and always have a plan for yourself. I think Flo says this a lot. Put something in, put put something towards your goals today. Put something towards your dreams today. And a lot of times we get in these big corporations and we forget. We forget. I'm a maybe I shouldn't go too hard in this, but as a as a as a guy, I'm not gonna say no name. It's a guy at DTLR, one of my I think he's one of my favorite personalities. That nigga, I th- I I personally think he's like that. But I think DTLR 
outshines him. And I'll, and it will never happen with me. Never. When you go into these companies, bro, I don't want y'all to forget about you because a lot of times we go in these companies and we trying to put so much into them so they can rise us up and we forget about ourselves and we lose our, our own identity. Never. 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 I probably shouldn't win that, that far, but I'm just being real with y'all. I want niggas to learn. And I can only give experience, uh, fucking advice from my own real experience. So, yeah. No, I mean, if, you, if you're going to... I feel like this is the per you, you just said everything perfectly. I, I would not, you know, I ain't got no, I, I think what you just said was, and you said it in the right way. Uh, I, I definitely listening to the Ray Daniel interview that reinforced me that like everything you just said, when Ray said that shit, it hit me different. Mm, yeah. Cause you could just like, you could give me the big, like you could make me the CEO of Def Jam, but you could still take the job from me. Mm. But if you if I'm in charge of my own shit, nobody can take it from nobody. Me. Even even if I'm only making fifty thousand a year, that's my. I'm gonna always get that because that's mine. Nobody can take that from me. So like, why would I want to go to the top of somebody else's mountain that I can get knocked off of when I can build my own mountain and never get knocked off? And I was just like, damn, that fucking put everything into perspective. You know what I mean? To just say, yo, I would turn down this job even because even though it was something that I dreamed about my entire life. I, yo, this is the dream job for me. And I would still turn it down. That is deep because that puts into perspective. And I think it's because I'm older that it means more to me. I don't know if it meant the same to you or other people, but like, bruh, like that meant everything to me. Because at this point, I'm looking for my own life security. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to be able to maintain at 60, 70, 80, 100 years old. So that's the difference you know between I mean? me and Ray, though. I mean, I understand what Ray said, and I think it's, it definitely sparked some inspiration. And I think we spoke about it before. Wisdom only come from experience. Mm -hmm. I got fucked, but at the end of the day, bro, I did that to myself. I put mm -hmm. my hands on somebody. If I liked it mm -hmm. or not, I did that to myself. But I know mm -hmm. for a fact, I'm a master at work. And I, what I mean mm. by that is, bro, you can give me a job. I did it before at any given time. You can give me a job and I'm never going to forget about me. Never, mm. ever. So that's why I might not agree because I'm going to take the job. Because I understand that. I understand the power of the company as well. Don't get it twisted, mm. though. I know, I know the power of Jay Hill. I know what Jay Hill did for DTLR. But let's not get it twisted. I would be a fool not to acknowledge DTLR in my come up. I'll be a mm -hmm. fool not to acknowledge what that had on my name. Mm -hmm. I'm not oblivious to that. So if I got offered a, a, a executive position at a company, I'd be a fool to not understand what that could do for my name, what impact or in return could do for my business. Because a lot of times people look at your title, what you do, on how they're going to respect you and approach you. And that's corny as hell, but I understand the game. And I'm always going to play the game. As long as it doesn't, as long as it doesn't um, uh, jeopardize my integrity, right? So I say what I'm saying by that is, if I got offered a position and I got my own business, we seen Diddy do it. He's a scumbag now, fuck him. But I'm talking about when he worked for, was it Motown? We saw mm -hmm. what he did with Biggie. He you mm. and, and we can't if he would never work at Motown, people probably would have never respected him to be on his own. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. So I'm not saying I dis I'm not saying that he's wrong, but he has experience that I ha that I don't have yet. Because he mm. the, the letter thing, he might not look at it as he was wrong and and and, and he 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 might shouldn't, right? I know I had a, a part to play in my situation, so I don't have the same experience as well because I, I gotta own what I did. At the job or not, I gotta mm -hmm. own that, and I did. So because that is still a little bit of me saying I still could work under a corporation for a little bit of time, a means to end, get in for me and get out. Mm -hmm. But because he's older, you're older, I can see you like, nah, I'm never gonna be in that position again. But me, what position I was put in? As soon as I left, as soon as I got fired, we dropped two million on my own YouTube. What I've had, no ghostwriter. If I ever, if I didn't go to uh, DTLR, no, I only created it because I was there. To be honest, we did two million after I got fired on my personal on my personal page. Shorty, shorty, he probably saw me through the freestyles that I did on that platform. Again, I'm not taking nothing away from me because I did that. That was my thing. 
but it started somewhere. So if I'm a if I'm an executive at a big company or big corporation, I know what I can do at this corporation and at this company and how it can be recognized worldwide outside of just myself. Because if I do it by myself individually, yeah, maybe a, a couple of people will see it. But if I do it for them, people are going to see it differently and on a bigger scale. And then I can show you, man, yeah, that wasn't nothing. That was what I did with 50% of my time. <laughs> Imagine what I can do with 100. Now I got the eyes of everybody. That's how. That's just how I look at it. I ain't never leaving no cars off the table. But I understand his perspective, though. And yours. Mm -hmm. I understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to a certain extent, I see what you're saying. You 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 take any situation to leverage it to do something bigger. You know what I mean? If it's a, if it's a if, if it's a you saying all right, if it's a big amount, I could just go up there and then I could swing to something different, which I, I I see and I respect it. But there comes a point where if you are Ray Daniels and you've been in the music industry for twenty years. There's really nothing that even being a CEO of Def Jam is going to do for you. Yeah. You already got the relationships. You already got the connections. You already have the financial stability. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You already have all of that. So it, it doesn't, there's no resource over there. The only resource at, at the level that he's on, the only resource he really needs is time. Mm -hmm. I need time to grow. And even that part, oh my God, y'all need to watch this interview. This nigga said, I'm paying a nigga to teach me social media. Yeah, he said, I think I know this shit, but I'm gonna pay I him anyway. Know. I'm gonna pay him anyway, because just in case there's some shit that I don't know, I need to find out. I said, oh, hell to the now. I, you know what I'm saying? Just, yo, I'm bringing in a nigga. I'm paying him $60,000 to teach my team. Bop, 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 bop. I'm learning I'm that. Like, yeah. I'm learning that in Atlanta, man. A lot of times we, we, we sleep on the best investment that we should be investing in, and that's ourselves. <laughs> The best brain, investment is self-investment, bro. I'm trying to tell yeah. you, dog. Like, bro, and even bro, we think too small, bro. I, listen, I was one. If you do interviews, I've been in my in my bag, but I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> you think too small. I'll be on your phone dumping, no, no. dumping out there on a truckload. I'm talking about go ahead, go ahead. My, my creatives, right? Yes, Yo, I seen uh somebody on Instagram. That's my problem. I always want to say a name. I gotta stop that. I'll be ready to say names, but I seen somebody no, on Instagram. Sure do some shit. Go ahead. I seen somebody on Instagram, and they was like, they was bragging about them not paying for interviews. And like, I ain't never mm. paying for no interview. I'm not paying for no interview. Like, that's just like you know, all of my shit is relationship based. That's what I do. That's what I do. And I used to do the same thing. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of creators out there who say the same thing, same thing. But it was one time when I was just I had my eyes open, figuratively. I seen that Breakbeat was suing Funny Marco for a Boosie interview that they paid for. Mm. Okay. Breakbeat paid Boosie to come on to do a Funny Marco interview? I would mm -hmm. think Funny Marco could just do that on his own. Okay, cool. Mm -mm. I'm listening to one of the episodes. Come to find out, Joe Button paid Dr. Umar to come on. They said, literally, mm -hmm. that was the best investment we ever made. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at myself. Who do I want to be? Do I want to be this nigga with this big ass ego and say I can just get it on my own and, and, and get relationships? That's cool. But if I open, if I look outside of myself, the corporations, break beat being one of them, they are paying these artists to be on that platform. And again, I'm not saying everybody. It's gonna to be everybody. I'm just saying, I'm saying the mentality about it. I'm not really mm -hmm. talking about who, who you pay that's up to you. I'm saying the mentality about it. Break beat is paying. Mm -hmm. Joe Button, the biggest podcaster, arguably one of the biggest podcasts out there, is paying. Mm -hmm. Jay, if you want to be the biggest, maybe you need to get your money up and pay too. That's how I look mm -hmm. at it. But at first, I used to look at it like, I'm not paying nobody. Why would I got paid for somebody like my shit is lit? My shit doing something for them. Mm -mm -mm. If they getting paid by the biggest of the platforms, why did they would come they to money? you mm -hmm. to move your shit up for the free? Not saying it wouldn't happen. Not saying it couldn't happen. Not saying I haven't I haven't done it yet. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm just I'm just strictly talking about mentality. Get the free ones and for as long as you can. But don't ever overlook something because it got a dollar attached to it. Because trust me, anything that got a dollar attached to it, you're gonna spend more attention doing it. And you're gonna put more effort effort into it. If I may, go ahead. I just would like to add on to your statement by saying this. If 
All of the biggest business people in the world are telling you that your most valuable thing you have is time. Mm. Why you continue to waste it? If I know I could put 2,000 down to help me get a million views and I could jump six months ahead developmental-wise, that's a benefit. Mm. If by paying this person to come on and do something is going to accelerate my growth, that's the thing that our culture unfortunately we get caught up in pride and you know nigga tradition and being a real nigga, a real nigga. and yo i don't i don't want i don't want to sell out i don't want to how many stories have you heard of people talking about they not going to sell out and they broke as fuck and it's all got to be all, i ain't never sell out i'm like at the end of the day if the purpose of you as a business person was to get money and you turned down a movie or I didn't want to do this record because I didn't want to sell out, meaning that you didn't want to sell millions and millions of records. If you had done that, your life would have been different. And guess what? You would have been talking about selling out. You've been talking about success. You'd have been talking about, you know, bigger businesses, being able to hire more people. At the end of the day, I keep trying to tell niggas, yo, yes, you want to take your time. You want to grind it out, grind smartly. Grind for big jumps, mm. big elevations, not to just, there's certain things you just got to grind through and you can't jump forward because you got to learn. But like stuff like that is you holding yourself back. You worrying about whether or not people are going to like you because of that. That's not a reason to do business. That's not a reason to, or not to do something in business. It's, is this going to amplify what I'm trying to do to get me where I got to go? Then fucking that's what we need to be doing. Mm -hmm. Not sitting around hoping that people going to like us we need to get in front of bigger audiences so if this is going to be that and that's going to be that then let's do it and you gotta understand and that I, bro and not everybody gonna like you in this game and honestly to be real you know you are doing something good when they don't like you think about Thanks. all the greatest people we hate them tom brady we hated tom mm -hmm. brady at a point why because he always beat our team lebron mm -hmm. james niggas hate on him Kobe, mm -hmm. niggas hated on him until he died. All of the greats, mm -hmm. they hate on him. Oh mm -hmm. shit, come get, let me get some of that hate too. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, that's a fact. And 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 and, and what's it? And, and hmm, I was watching something where they were talking about how negative press actually amplifies you more than positive press. So like you just being dope and doing your own thing and niggas hating on you amplifies you even more than if people were just going to love you. Cause guess what? People spend more time complaining than they do celebrating. And people think spend, about that. And the sad thing about it. Yeah. They, that's all. That's it. That's, that's all I was going to say. Cause people spend boy, people would love you. I got tons of people that love me. They ain't buying no shirts. I got tons of people that love, love me. They ain't sharing my shit. Nope. They love me though. They ain't, mm -hmm. they ain't on Patreon. Yep. Nope. But I got some motherfuckers out there that's being nosy, that's looking on a gram. Let me see. Yep. Yo, what's up with him and uh, these pictures? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, they just had something to talk about. Mm -hmm. Guess what? They're actually doing more for my brand and what I got going on than the people that love me because the people that love me ain't even, they ain't even spreading the word. Hey. That's a fact. The, the video me and Wayno did almost at 3 million. Mm. People coming to me. People still sending me messages. Well, guess Light what? you up. <laughs> they know who Jay Hill is, even if they don't like it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, man. That's something that's crazy because um, I was I was up. You know, we had a discussion off air about having you come and speak to some people, and that was that was like one of the biggest things that I was like excited for you to talk about. Is because I don't people don't understand what it's like to be on this side. Mm. They they. Nobody thinks about the moment when the world goes against you. Nobody thinks about when the people that you loved and you supported, you might have said something off color. It wasn't even meant to be negative. And then all of a sudden now, they going at you. They throwing, they throwing darts at you. Mm. Or the allegation comes up or some goofy shit that you know ain't right. And your friends know it ain't right. But guess what? The general public, they going to believe all into that shit. Mm. And now... Mm. You're having to defend against some shit that ain't nothing like who you are. Like that's some real shit. And and the thing is, is that as much as you have grown and like people, it's crazy. People really talk about you around me. Like, I mean, cause you are a celebrity to a certain extent. 
but they keep talking about I can't wait to be where he's at. And I'm just like, are you sure you ready? <laughs> are you sure? Like, are you sure you ready for that? Like, because it's not easy. I say that all the time. Like, first of all, this nigga is erratic as shit. I said he is all over the place. Like, I could call him at 12 o'clock at night. He editing video footage. How off, How much time are you spending editing video footage or audio or clip? I like the stuff that he, the stuff that Jay is anal about. I'll be, I don't give a fuck. Like, I wouldn't be, yo, I heard like a little voice pop in the thing. And I was like, why the fuck do you care? But that attention to detail is what makes him successful. Bro that drive the the yo i can't stop yo i'm asking him does he watch movies this nigga like nah i was on youtube watching videos about uh about camera lighting and i'm like nigga the new marvel shit just dropped nigga come on he's nah nigga i just i gotta i gotta i gotta i gotta figure this out i gotta get this right that's not everyday niggas everyday niggas ain't caring the way he care and that's just different bro and it's a good thing and a bad thing because i'm quite sure he wants to know what porn stars look like on whatever site, but he ain't got time to look at that shit. You know I mean, what I would love to do? I'm not like all my, fr not all my friends, but I feel like some of my friends know this. I would love to play the game. And I don't not play the game because I don't have time. I'll be real. Cause I got, I could get some time in to play the game. Mm -hmm. When I play the game, I have no interest, bro. None. None. Whatsoever. But I want to be, I think it's a good time to like, uh, Decompress, chill, Decompress, relax. But also, because uh, you know you got online, uh, like just frightening out with your friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. just really bond with your homies, y'all talking shit. Like, you can get away from anything you got going on. You can just talk to your friends. I would love to do that. I just have no interest. Like, I'm not even mm -hmm. interested a bit. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, I want to play the game. I love Madden. Mm -hmm. Basketball would be cool. But when I play it, I'd be like, man, I got other shit I can, I can be doing this. I do that all the time. Like, people ask me, why I don't play video games? I had game systems. They collect dust. I bought games on my computer. Man, $10, $30. I'll play it one time and I'd never go back to it. Why? Because I'm on a computer trying to figure out another way to make money or how to do this or how to edit or how to whatever. I'm like, I don't. So when people talk to me all the time, like, don't you like game sports and all that? No, nah, nigga, I'm, I'm right here mm. trying to figure it out. Like, you know what I mean? I'm trying to, I got six podcasts I got to do a week. There's a ton of work. Mm -hmm. So like, I get you, but, I, but once again, nobody gives a fuck about that shit because on the outside, all of y'all get to do is roll out of bed, press play on whatever we create and then lay your judgment down. Mm. 